welcome to this news bulletin firstly we'll have a look at the medal stable uh, world athletics championships are underway in oregon us how many medals have been won by ethiopia how many by kenya us we have uh, details for you secondly an update for you from gambala region of ethiopia where Nighttime curfew was imposed a few days ago. Thirdly, uh, we have a new story about an Ethiopian student, Ephraim, who uh, paid tribute to his mother a few days ago in front of camera uh, by making uh, her mother wear his uh, graduation gown and cap. Later, he was allocated a house by Addis Ababa Mayor Ednach Ababe. Now, uh, pictures are being shared of the student uh, Ephraim, and it is being said that he graduated in 2020, and this new graduation uh, is a drama staged by the student. We have two pictures and. Uh, the investigation which uh, we have received through some sources about these two pictures. Uh, fourthly, we have a new story about Tigray and Diaspora. Uh, today, Tigray and Diaspora is due to protest in front of Italian embassy in the US, in Washington DC, in front of Italian embassy. A Tigrayan demonstration is expected. Why are Tigrayans protesting in front of Italian embassy? Uh, fourthly, OLA Oromo Liberation Army. Yesterday, I reported fighting uh, in and near Chancho, which is in uh, Salulta, Vareda, uh, close to Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Now, OLA back news sources have shared a video which is said to be from close to uh, Salulta, close to Chancho rather, and the video shows uh, several Ethiopian government soldiers killed. Uh, sounds of gunshots can be heard in the background as well. And from Vasheva as well, Romo Liberation Army has shared a video clip showing a school which was being used by government forces as a military camp. The school uh, is now under the control of Romo Liberation Army. Lastly, a uh, very important news story about Ethiopia-Somalia relations. Uh, uh, Hassan Sheikh has postponed his visit to Ethiopia or he has been told to postpone by Ethiopian government because PM Abi is nowhere to be seen. Uh, whatever the reason is behind the postponement of this visit, uh, Ethiopia-Somalia relations are not moving along the right track. Rumors being spread that Hassan Sheikh could travel to Egypt in coming days and some regional leaders in Somalia uh, are in talks with Ethiopian federal government. Uh, the regional uh, leaders are not on good terms with Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud's government. So an alliance is emerging against Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, uh, alliance with uh, uh, participation of Addis Ababa, some regional uh, governments and uh, former uh, President Farmajo's supporters. We'll have a detailed look at this development views because uh, uh, Somalia, Ethiopia are two key players in the Horn of Africa. Both are in a position to create instability in each other's countries. Firstly, uh, let's start with a new story about World Athletics Championships underway in Oregon, US. Uh, we'll have a look at uh, Medals table, how many medals have been won by Ethiopia, Kenya, US and other countries? Uh, how is Ethiopian performance uh, at this uh, event, this year's event? Uh, firstly, uh, US, US is at number 1, 18 medals, 6 gold, 5 silver, 7 bronze, 18 medals. 
Ethiopia at number 2, 6 medals, 3 gold, 3 silver. Kenya, number 3, 1 gold, 3 silver, 2 bronze, 6 medals. Fourthly, Jamaica, uh, which has produced quality athletes uh, for years. Uh, 4 medals, 1 gold, 2 silver and 1 bronze. Poland, 1 gold, 2 silver, 3 medals. China, just 3 medals, 1 gold, 1 silver and 1 bronze. So, Ethiopia is at number 2 uh, and US is leading so far with 18 medals. Secondly, viewers, a second news story is from the Gambala region of Ethiopia where curfew was imposed a few days ago, nighttime curfew. And we know that a few days ago, less than a month ago, Romo Liberation Army and Gambala Liberation Front fighters, they carried out a joint attack on Gambala city. For almost a day, there was heavy fighting in the capital city of Gambala region. Later, the two groups withdrew from Gambala and they said they had achieved their objectives. They looted some banks as well uh, and they uh, captured weapons to both sides, suffered casualties. Some government soldiers were killed and some oil fighters were killed too. Some civilians were killed extrajudicially after uh, OLA GLF attack on Gambala. We shared videos of civilians being killed on the roads of Gambala by security forces after the withdrawal of OLA and GLF from Gambala. Uh, so that is why curfew was imposed a few days ago, nighttime curfew in entire Gambala region, not just in Gambala city, in entire Gambala region curfew was imposed. But a few hours ago, Gambala regional government announced lifting of the curfew. The curfew has been lifted. It means the situation is under control. A curfew was imposed in Asosa as well, BG, uh, Benishangal, Gumba region, Asosa zone, Asosa city. Uh, no news about lifting of curfew in Asosa city, but in Gambala, curfew has been lifted. Thirdly, viewers, a new story about an Ethiopian student who made headlines a few days ago when he uh, pay tribute to his mother after graduation from Addis Ababa University. He was uh, seen, he appeared uh, in front of cameras and there he paid tribute to his mother by carrying his mother's firewoods and by making uh, his mother wear his gown, graduation gown and cap. Uh, uh, and after that, we saw that his videos, pictures went viral. Uh, some companies offered jobs to him. And Adis Ababa mayor allocated a house to the student's family. His name is uh, Ephraim. And since yesterday, some pictures are being shared. It is being claimed that uh, Ephraim graduated two years ago. And this graduation, uh, which he claims he did from... Addis Ababa University uh, a few days ago. It's a drama stay by the students, by the student Ephraim. Now, what we have learned is that, uh, have a look at these two pictures. The two pictures show uh, Ephraim after graduation. One picture shows when he graduated from uh, Admas University of Ethiopia. And in December 2020, he graduated from Admas University of Ethiopia in uh, business administration. Then uh, he graduated from Addis Ababa University as well last week and he graduated in computer science. So it's not that uh, he staged a drama just to attract uh, uh, public attention. He did not... Uh, asks for any help when he paid tribute to his mother in that video. It's that his way of paying tribute went viral. Uh, and Ethiopian uh, government officials then uh, violating merit allotted a house to his family, which I opposed. I said that hundreds of other students could be uh, more in need of accommodation. So government shouldn't have uh, violated merit, but it did. Uh, so, what student is saying in terms of graduation, it's not a drama, it's uh, not uh, 
fake uh, claim. Yes, he did graduation from Addis Ababa University in uh, July a few days ago. Uh, fourthly, we have a new story about Tegarayan diaspora community due to hold uh, a protest in front of Italian embassy in the US. In coming hours, Tegarayan diaspora community will uh, organize a demonstration in Washington DC in front of Italian embassy. Why is Tegarayan diaspora community protesting there? Uh, Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, traveled to Ethiopia last month. Uh, Luigi Di Maio, he traveled to Ethiopia and Somalia. He was in Ethiopia for two days. He held meeting with Ethiopian PM Abi, with Damak McConnell, his counterpart, Ethiopian Foreign Minister. And he announced a loan of 22 million euros for Ethiopia. Uh, he and Ethiopian uh, Finance Minister Emma Shide signed an agreement last uh, month. So Italy is going to provide a loan of 22 million euros to Ethiopian government, firstly. Secondly, uh, Italy is... Uh, one of the top uh, trading partners of uh, Ethiopia, Ethiopia exports coffee, oil seeds and other uh, uh, things to Italy and Ethiopia is earning record revenue from its coffee exports. Uh, Ethiopia-Italy economic cooperation is on the rise. Tegare and Aspera community is protesting. It is against this loan, 22 million euro loan from Italy for Ethiopian government. Ethiopian government is badly in need of loans, grants. We know that the uh, uh, economy is in shambles. Uh, it is recovering with the help of uh, US-backed World Bank, uh, EU and some of the countries like uh, Italy. Yesterday, when three Tigray opposition parties reached a joint statement, Salzburgene, Betona and TIP, they also mentioned Italy. They said Italy, Germany, EU, World Bank were uh, collaborators in genocide of Tigrayans because these countries institutions uh, were backing, financing Ethiopian government. So, in coming hours, protest will be held. We'll update you after the protest. Uh, for, fifthly, we have a new story about Oromo Liberation Army. Yesterday, I reported fighting close to Chancho. In Chancho, people said, Sajid, the OLA was nowhere near Chancho. You uh, are just making up stories for views. Uh, OLA has shared some pictures, videos, graphic videos from close to Chancho. Chancho is in Salulta Vareda, which is in Oromia special zone of Oromia region, surrounding Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. Uh, it's a town and close to Chancho, there was heavy fighting. A graphic video is being shared showing uh, several killed Ethiopian government soldiers. Uh, the video is being shared on OLA backed uh, news uh, outlets and uh, uh, I cannot show you this video. I can show you only the parts uh, without uh, graphic content. The video shows uh, around a dozen killed uh, Ethiopian government soldiers. And uh, you can hear gunshots in the background while the video was being recorded. So there was fighting close to Chancho and in Chancho as well. Secondly, a clip is being shared from Vashava zone of Oromia. Here, the video is around two to three weeks old. Uh, Oromo Liberation Army took control of a school which was being used as a military camp by government forces. This video is from Silale. Silale Vareda is in Vashava zone. And here, uh, oil fighters can be seen uh, in the school which was being used as a uh, a military camp by uh, government forces. So, despite government's claims that uh, OLA is nowhere to be seen, you see uh, OLA is there to be seen in Oromia, fighting ongoing. As I said yesterday, in central, southern and uh, western parts of Oromia, in rural areas, intense fighting is being reported. Uh, 
Interestingly, if we draw a comparison between military offensive, military operations in Romi and in Tigray, in Tigray, uh, it was November the 4th when a uh, military operation was launched uh, against Tigray uh, government, Tigray Defense Force. And in the last week of November, uh, uh, Tigray fighters had been pushed out of all major cities of uh, Tigray. They had lost to Humaira, Aksom, Shere, uh, Adwa, Makale, uh, Alamata, Koram and they were, they had been pushed into Tambian, uh, Central Tigray. But here, uh, two months have passed, uh, joint operation involving regional forces, uh, federal forces, militias, but so far we have not seen any considerable success uh, gained by government forces in this operation. Claims are being made that OLA has been pushed out of Ethiopia its commanders are on the run, uh, it is suffering losses, but no evidence is being shared. OLA is sharing pictures, videos showing that it is there in Romia carrying out its attacks. Uh, two clips, uh, one uh, from close to Chancho and the other one from Vasheva zone of Romia. China Risala Gamogor, Kungo, Titorana, Brisuma, Oromo, Zoni, Jibigalesaka, and Tashagari. Lafti sinita magar si sa jrukun asin video kana lala jirta. Mishigi okani lafa dini kesa kupate kesa bul. Mishigi laje chura. Or oro mana barnota di jura. Bola lola tolfate orani motuma kesa jira. Refi gachen ni motoro mo wobo to kute kesa base isinit gar si sa. Hangat umo kopi kenya tinufana turtani mishigi sa dawat mishigi dina. Lastly, Ethiopia Somalia relations. No news of uh, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud Somalia's president's visit to Ethiopia in coming days. Ethiopia has not shown the green light as well, perhaps due to unavailability of uh, Ethiopian PM Abi. Where is he? No one knows. Is he abroad? Is he in Valaga? Is he in Southern Romia? Is he leading his forces against OLA? No one knows. Uh, Perhaps that is why uh, Ethiopia refused to accommodate Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud. Maybe Hassan Sheikh will travel to Ethiopia after PM Abi is free to receive him. But so far, no one knows where PM Abi is. But meanwhile, we are uh, hearing speculations that Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud could travel to Egypt in coming days if it happens. Before his visit to Ethiopia, it could be a clear evidence that uh, Ethiopia-Somalia relations are going to deteriorate seriously in coming months. If Hassan Sheikh travels to Egypt in coming days, speculations going around but no confirmations so far. Secondly. Uh, we are hearing uh, some reports, receiving some reports that uh, uh, an alliance is being built against Hassan, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud's government. Who is part of this alliance? Addis Ababa government. Some regional presidents of uh, Somalia. We know that uh, Portland president Saeed Abdullah Dini visited Addis Ababa a few days ago. It is said that Abdullah Dini is not on good terms with federal government. A few days ago, a federal government uh, plane carrying aid with the deputy speaker of Somalia's parliament, Saadia, was not allowed to distribute aid in Portland. Uh, instead, clashes erupted on Portland airport and more than 20 were injured and killed and Saadia had to move back to Mogadishu. Uh, so, Portland and Mogadishu are not on good terms. Portland was hoping that next PM would be from Portland. But PM is from Jubba land. Hamza Dibare was uh, chosen by Hassan Sheikh Mahmood, his uh, uh, old associate, even before the start of politics, both Hamza and Hassan Sheikh were close uh, uh, companions. So, Hassan Sheikh chose Hamza Abdibare from Jubba land uh, with some links in Kenya as well to be the Prime Minister. Portland is not happy. 
Lafta Garin is president of southwest state of Somalia and he is an ally of uh, Farmajo, uh, former president of uh, Somalia. It is being said that Farmajo uh, Dini uh, could form an alliance with Addis Ababa government against Hassan Sheikh Mahmood and uh, supporters of uh, former President Abdullah Farmajo could join this alliance as well. Now, question is, why will this alliance be formed? This alliance will be formed if Hassan Sheikh Mahmood government uh, works against Ethiopia. If it uh, starts uh, forging ties with Ethiopian rivals, if it starts working against Ethiopian interests. In that case, Ethiopia could back uh, regional governments in Somalia, uh, which are not on good terms with Somalia's federal uh, government. Uh, only concern uh, for Ethiopia, one of the concerns is that uh, uh, if Hassan Sheikh Mahmood government uh, develops close ties with Egypt, it could be a matter of concern for Ethiopia. And if uh, Hassan Sheikh Mahmood government starts uh, direct links with uh, some groups based in Ethiopia, it could also be a matter of concern for Ethiopian government. So, situation uh, is being projected as uh, uh, tense between the two governments. But we are waiting for PM Abi to appear. Once he appears, uh, then we'll see, will there be a visit of Hassan Sheikh to, Ethi to Ethiopia or not, that remains to be seen. But if he travels to Egypt before visiting Ethiopia, then it would be a clear sign that uh, Ethiopia-Somalia relations are going to deteriorate. Thanks for watching.